Welcome back. This is Fox, part five in our Max Investor playthrough. As you can see, we are in Crown Falls. I've been working for about two hours since the last video. If you've watched out the little recap video explaining how we're going to move things forward, I'm going to record two, three hour videos. At, well, I'm not going to record. I'm going to play for two, three hours at a time. Then I'm going to do some recaps. I've decided to go against the uh, time lapse option. Decided to go against. Decided not to do the time lapse option because it requires video editing software that I don't yet have. I would have to overlay music on it, and it's going to take more time than it that I have got at this moment in time. So for now, I'm just going to do recap videos of what I've done in the time that I've been playing. As I said before, if there's any uh, certain bits you want me to go over in more detail, then write in the comments, and I can do a mini short video explaining how I've done things. But yeah. My sole purpose for this was to get to 10,000 engineers to support the Research Institute, which I have also built. This is researching me permits on a constant at the minute, so I can build up my scholar population. So that we've got a decent amount of research points so that I can research major discoveries and obviously any items and stuff that we're going to need going forward. That was the sole purpose. Of these engineers you need 10,000 engineers to give you the max amount if you see I've only got one assigned here so it might help if I assign the full 10,000 10,000 is the maximum amount of engineers that you can assign to a research it brings the time down you can see that time slider we assign one, it would be 10 minutes on full it's dropping it down to two minutes I can't remember what the exact time is for it to do a research. I should have probably checked before I'd done this. But yeah, with the 10,000 engineers assigned, um, it's the fastest possible that you can get the time down for research. So yep, we built the Research Institute. I built this alongside the build-up of this first cluster of engineers because it needs, I believe it's workers and artisans and engineers. I can't remember again. It needs different varying amounts of tiers as you go through and build this, same as a World's Fair does. I have also built the palace got a lot more wings to build yet once we build up some stocks I'm gonna start working on the attractiveness of Crown Falls moving forward to get this to the maximum I'm gonna use the method of well the town halls do most of it when we get there When we spam the whole island with town halls, that does most of our attractiveness because you get 200 attractiveness per town hall and you can fit 60 or so town halls on Crown Halls, Crown Falls. I have done a, ri a video on why you would use Crown Falls for an industrial island, which I will be doing in this playthrough. If you want to check that out, it explains why you need to get to 33,000 attractiveness and how you can best do it on Crown Falls. So yeah, at the minute, most of these goods that the engineers need, I oh, were making enough globally to just import them from my main island. So if we go to production, all islands, let's get down to some investor goods. Uh, the fur coats are being made on Crown Falls. The spectacles were just slightly under, we'll need to up that. Uh, penny farthings, coffee is being made in the new world, we'll go over that in a minute. Pocket watches are being made as a byproduct. Bulbs are being made on my main island. Yeah, there wasn't much else really. Spectacles I will need to address in a minute. So yeah, the only things over here, sewing machines are being imported as well. We're making enough of them on the main island. Again, just under. So I may set up a little production over here doing um, spectacles and spectacles. I mean, yeah, I might just set the production up over here altogether because I am going to need a surplus of goods to skip through the tiers like I do to get to investors on my other islands. So that'll probably be what I'll do in the next video. I will set the production chains up for these engineers on the island over here. That means the surplus that we're making on my main island over here. I can set trade routes up to slowly fill all these other islands up so that when it comes to build these up to investors, that all the goods are already on the islands. The 
Um, if you're wondering what I'm on about when I'm talking about skipping through the tiers to get to investors or engineers, uh, there is a video in my playlist also for that. I'll put a card. I'll try and do a card. I haven't done one of these yet. I'll try and do a card up here for that so that it takes you to that. It shows you the best way that you can, well, the easiest way to get to investors on an island if you don't want to set up all the production chains. I've got some items in these town halls. I've got the actor. This supplies the um, residents with rum and canned food if they are in range of a variety theatre. You can see if I click on it, actor. Residents with a variety theatre need fulfilled are provided with rum and canned food. That saves you having to make any canned food and transport it around. This one is the same, they've got that actor. This one has also got Dennis Brayman, the food critic, because there was a few artisans, or there was a few workers here. I will transfer this one over here in a minute. This guy's really good as well. Residents provided bonus income from the pub. Residents gain bonus happiness from the pub. Residents with the pub need fulfilled are provided with bread, sausage and fish. So you don't need to supply them with bread, sausage or fish, they just get it from this chap. I believe it works for artisans, even though that they don't have a need for a pub. You look, I've got... How many artisans have I got on here? 838, and they need bread. But the need for bread is zero. They need to amend that, how it's described, because obviously they need bread. Artisans shows you here they need bread, it's a need. I'll press Control Q. The need for bread on this island is zero, Your ship has but they don't point. have a pub. And this chap is not being shown when I click on them. I mean, there's a 30% reduction for sausage, bread, and food, and a 68% reduction. Hmm, I'm starting to wonder now if that 30% reduction in bread there is partnered with this. So there's like a... T that's, there still would be a 2% need for bread, so it should show. Interesting. I'll look into that. Yeah, the scholars at the minute... Well, I'm just boosting the town all with some attractiveness. I will get some items in here when I start researching them. The scholars and at the minute are being given canned food. Is that is being made just here. I am using my two favourite alts for this. Alts, I'm talking satisfactory. My two specialists, which is Mrs. Mason, the very good housekeeper. This changes the need of iron to flour. The reason I'm doing this is, although there's a lot of iron on this island, you get a 50% boost from this. 50% boost is massive. The only other item that would give such a boost would be a ferrous. But 50% boost... Um, the main other reason is it also gives me tortillas, and for the minute I am trading them tortillas for fish stew, along with some of the surplus canned food, which means I'm not making any fish stew in Mbessa. I'm not going to be using uh, Ducklands Trading when it comes to the final figures, but for now, just to give these a bit of fish stew. Why not? Tortillas are an extra. I don't need to ship them across to the... Uh, New World because they're so easy to make over there. So yeah, that's my canned food production. I am also using Chef Michael. Gives me extra sausages. Instead of goulash, you're building processes pigs. This is probably one of the best alts in the game. I mean, you look what's needed to make the goulash. Goulash, you need beef and peppers. And these artisanal kitchens use 75 artisans each. So you're cutting out... A very complex chain, well not a very complex chain, but a chain that uses artisans and then two farming ones for one that just uses sausages, so it's brilliant. The cutting edge is the other one that I use for my canned food. This affects sewing machine factory, cannery, bicycle factory and lantern smith. A 40% productivity boost and minus 50% workforce. So all in all we're getting a 90% boost, uh, minus 50% workforce. We're swapping out one of the items which makes it a whole lot easier, we're getting boost from the labour. So these are working at a flat 300%. So which means I only need two to provide the canned food for all these scholars. And I should be making way more than what I need because I'm trading some of them at the minute. Yep, I'm making a massive amount more than what I need. Apart from that, the rest of the stuff on this island is just supplying um, basic stuff. I've got basic wood. I'll need to up the uh, storage over here. These are the pigs for the canned food. 
Excuse me. This is the cotton, uh, the wool for the framework knitters. The framework knitter, I've got the costume design instead of its usual workforce, the building employs worker forces. Worker, blah, 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 blah. worker workforce replaces the need of cotton for wool, which means I've got to import nothing. From the new world, I've then got a Ferris and a printing press. This reduces the workforce by 40 Ferris, you know all about him. So these are at negative 50 workforce and we're running at 1 to 280, 208% boost. All latched onto the electricity. Yeah, latched onto the electricity here. I'm just nestling these in and around where I can to catch onto the electricity that are feeding the engineers and the scholars. Apart from that, nothing else much going on over here. I did set up some coffee production all on my main island over here at the minute. It's all being done in one place. Storeroom's full, boss. This cotton's full. What's this for? Oh, this was for the tailored suits. So I did create some cotton. The tailored suits are being made here. These are being boosted by Ferris and the printing press. So this is at 285% boost. This needed linen and cotton. Cotton you can see is being made here. Three cotton farms boosted with tractors. My usual setup. Um, I couldn't have it negative. Um, I couldn't put the plow in here because I needed the seed for the uh, rubber. But yeah. I'm making 15 tons of cotton a minute. These are the coffee farms. I've got two coffee plantations. These are at two base productivity 235. It's all right. It doesn't got enough fields, but yeah, I've only got two coffee plantations. Where did I put here? I've got a Ferras and a Sommelier, which changes the workforce on Alero. These coffee roasters are at 180%. So these two coffee roasters and the two coffee plantations are making me seven tons of coffee a minute. At the minute, over here, we need three. So I've got enough to double it. I think that's pretty much it. What else did I do? Oh, yeah. We've got some furs on this island here. I've set down bases on all of the major islands that I want over here. I bought out one from Hugo. I am going to start buying this one out from him. I like to have all the islands over in the Cape to myself as soon as possible. And then I'll start buying out all the other islands. One thing I did notice that the, um, I think I'm right in saying that the violins and the typewriters, are they? These new items that are coming in, they're going to need veneers. Now veneers is something I am very good at considering I had to make a million for my last playthrough because of the amount of telephones that we were making. These little islands dotted around the edge are perfect for making veneers. All you need is wood, trees, and then a little bit of electricity. So these little islands started around here, you can get the electricity from the mines um, by using Jörg von Malching. They're all really, really good. I've got this one, this one, this one could be used for wood, this one. So there's three or four tiny little islands that we use for my veneers, that should be enough to feed the whole process. I'm going to need to make some veneers very soon, so I may set up one of those islands in the not too near distant future. But yeah, for now that's it. Nothing else been done in Mbessa. This was as we left it, ticking away nicely. This main island is making me 1,000 in the green. This one's minus 270. This one's minus. So I'm 1,000 in the plus for the whole of Mbessa, so. It's not losing me any money, and it's giving me those elders that I needed to get the Research Institute up and going. I'm not too sure whether I could delete all this now, in all honesty. Now it's all set up, now that the Institute is going. That may have to be something I'll look into in the future as well. But for now, I mean, it's not doing no I'm just sitting here ticking away. It's making me money. Not in vain do they wonder I uh, did 
install a mod to help me on my way getting to this research institute. It's one that unlocks all items at traders. Um, I used it towards the end of my last playthrough because it was getting very, very, very tedious researching all of the items I need for my town halls. I may keep it in. I'm undecided as of yet to whether, whether do that. I shouldn't need to use it too much. All it does is it gives you all of the items that you can get in the whole game. You can buy them from traders. So it saves you having to research them. But, I mean, now the Institute's up and running, I don't really need that. But I did get it up just to get me uh, a couple of specialists that I need while I was building the Institute. But, yeah, that's it. That's where we're at. I'm now going to knuckle down and do another couple of hours. I need um, 2,000 investors to finish a quest line that's going on, if I remember right. Reach 1,750 investors to make the Monopolis. Metropolis. This is for the just the basic sunken treasures quest line. Deliver to old Nate, that should be done. Hi. Yeah, so we'll finish the sunken treasures quest line. And we'll build the world's fair. That'll increase the attractiveness more on the islands. The I'll get all of the. Uh, now, this. It must be around here somewhere. I'll get all of the extra wings built on the palace. We'll start working on the attractiveness over here even more. We'll get a little zoo going. I had to build this. What's this? Oh, this is just the uh, gods of Delta. The Gods of Delta Museum set. If you don't know what this does, you should put this on most of your islands. This reduces the... Uh, excuse me. This affects town halls and trade unions. Attractiveness plus 30. It gives plus 10 influence per module. Per plus 10 influence per town hall and trade union. So yeah, you're getting influence back and attractiveness back from your town halls and trade unions now trade unions and town halls both use 20 influence so it's halving the cost of your trade unions and town halls when you're in min maxer that is a must i mean it was for my last save because we were doing a scholar run but it's not going to be so much of a problem this time but yeah that's where we're at i have got i just picked up the glass maker which was a cool where is he? There should be a ship here. Yeah. Some items in that I just bought. I should be able to put the glass maker in here. This is a very, very good specialist, if you didn't know about him. It's an uncommon one, so it's very, very easy to get. It replaces the input of glass to just quartz sand for the window makers. So that means now I can delete these glass manufacturers. These window makers now just need wood and quartz sand. It's exactly the same ratio as what the window makers would have used, but you just cut out a different production chain. I've saved myself 200 out of sand just by one specialist. If we put a ferrous in here. I wonder if this works. I don't think it does. I think I've tried it before. Yeah, it says all mines and quarries, but some mine is not really classed as a mine. But yes, anyway, I'm digressing. Nothing else really to watch it. Look at here. These are within a trade union. I was going to boost them, but I didn't need to. Might as well delete that. Some grain going for the canneries. They need flour. I've put the windmill right next to it so it can get the flour straight from it. Yeah, nothing else going on at all. Yeah, so that is it. Stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to do another couple of hours, as I said. Uh, there'll be another recap video. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. As always, please give this a thumb up if you've liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one.